Yeah, it's been un minuto calor, a hot minute. I don't know why I said it like that, I'm sorry. I have like very weird energy right now. Honestly, the reason I'm talking to you is because I have not picked up a camera and vlogged ad hoc like this a month, two months. It's been a while. I feel like once you stop bringing a camera around with you all the time, it starts to feel you know, like a lot of work and it's gonna take you out of the moment. The problem with filming is that the longer you go without doing it, the harder it gets to do. I think part of it is also that I work from home now. So most days I'm not really getting dressed up, doing my makeup, doing my hair. And in order to be on camera, you should be doing all those things so you don't look like this. End of me rambling, end of me complaining. I decided about seven minutes ago, after I just finished my bagel, I think I'm going to do a weekend vlog. It's not gonna be perfect, but I'm just gonna take you through the next 72 hours and we're gonna see where it goes. Could be a good time, it probably won't be, but if you wanna stick around and hang out with me, then I'm giving you the opportunity to, so. Okay, let's actually go get ready and get started with our day. Looking a little um, potato now. The exploring shopping fit for today. I don't know if it's necessarily working, but you know what? Fashion is about risk, so we're just gonna call it that. I've been craving some solo time in the city lately, and so I headed to Midtown to visit what might be my favorite spot in New York. Kinokuniya is a Japanese bookstore chain that offers all of your typical reading selections, but also has an entire floor dedicated to stationery and gifts, as well as a full manga area and cafe upstairs. I've always been drawn to East Asian design, and so this is one of my favorite places to visit when I need a little inspiration. When I was a kid, I would spend Saturday afternoons wandering around Barnes & Noble, sitting at the cafe, and pouring through stacks of expensive art and design books that I couldn't afford to buy at the time. Bookstores have always felt like a second home to me, and in a place like New York, I find that having these kinds of spaces to rely on is especially important if you want to keep your sanity, that is. First one, this, right? This. I came back home around the same time as Albi, who had just attended a Muay Thai seminar in New Jersey and was very eager to show me what he learned. Get down, get down, get down, get down right now. On the floor, there's a citizen's arrest. Have this on camera, don't resist, oh God, oh God, call the police. <laughs> don't try this at home, kids. Ta-da. We get Sushi Cat. I'm sensing a pattern. Ah, we got the hula hoop guy. That is our working guy. How's he working? How's this thumbs up guy working? Great work. No raise for you. We made a last minute decision to get some Korean barbecue for dinner, and I'll be ordered some drinks to recreate a DIY milka shot that he saw on TikTok. It didn't go as planned. This is probably why we never get invited anywhere. going on at Fort Greene. I thought we were going to the grocery market. What is this? Not J-Mart. Uh, definitely not J-Mart. We got lost. <laughs> on our way out to run some errands, we stumbled upon what seemed to be a forest rave at the park. Turns out it was the annual Seoul Summit and lots of people were out dancing away a beautiful summer evening. I'll be hung back while I spend a few minutes investigating on my own. He usually prefers to enjoy these types of events from afar and today was no exception. We headed to J-Mart for some grocery shopping, but as we all know, that can be very dangerous on an empty stomach. 
so we first stopped at a Hong Kong cafe across the street for dinner. Most of what we ordered was pretty solid, but the French toast absolutely stole the show. Oh, I am obsessed with these. So freaking fire. Look, they have little mini dumplings. Huh? They're little mini baby dumplings. Mm -hmm. That's cute. Do you want them? Yeah. Okay. Don't leave me here. Be strong. Bye. I can't. Don't leave me. The guy she tells you not to worry about. I have never repotted plants before, but first time for everything, I guess. So we got this off of Facebook Marketplace a few months ago, and it's growing very wide right now. It needs a little bit of help. And it's also in a very <laughs> small pot for this size. Oh my god, this looks so ridiculous on camera. <laughs> yeah, anyway, we're gonna repot this and put it into here. I also got this moss pole and I'm gonna try and make it go up or something. I don't know. Again, first time, so wish me luck. I don't know what's happening here. We're gonna have to fix this. Pull it out. I feel like people who know about plants are gonna watch this. Just shake it off in slowly. horror. Sorry, people watching. Like loosen up the dirt. See? Look at these little baby leaves. They're so small. There's another one over here. Wait. I feel like this is advanced. It's not perfect, but it's a little less chaotic than before. We've upgraded from our studio fifth floor walk up to a luxury unit. Okay, we just replanted this guy too. The pot is way too small for it, but it's gonna have to do for now. And now we just gotta clean up all the evidence of murder. <sighs> okay, I need to go shower because I am covered in soil and Anyway, thank you for joining me on this very random vlog this weekend, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hey, wait. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and like for more videos. We'll be back with more videos coming soon. Meow, meow.